So when you launch Ledger Live, uh, you should see an update to the Ledger Live software. Um, I've already done my update. So I'm running the latest version of Ledger Live and there is an OS update available for the Ledger stacks. So um, you want to run this firmware update so that the Ledger stacks will have Ledger recovery key functionality. So uh, basically just connect your device, uh, enter your PIN, unlock it, uh, go over to the My Ledger section, and then uh, run the firmware update. Um, it's going to let us know here that it adds support for Ledger recovery key. So uh, there is a button down here that you can't see <laughs> because I'm in the way. Uh, so just hit uh, install update and then uh, you can uh, see progress on your device. All right. Yeah, you'll see it loading the update on the device and you'll see progress in your ledger live. Then it's going to ask you to uh, tap the install. And just let it go ahead and run the uh, install process. You'll see updates in Ledger Live. You'll see progress on your device. All right, and then it's going to ask you to enter your PIN. Please do this. I, I think a lot of people just think it's done and then they disconnect it. Um, and uh, Ledger Live is waiting for you over here to enter your PIN. So go ahead and enter your PIN. All right, and uh, I had a picture on there, so it wants to reload my picture. And then you'll want to say keep. All right, and then uh, when you're done with that, just hit tap to dismiss. And then go back over to Ledger Live. And then uh, you'll want to make sure you click this restore apps to put all your apps back on there. Uh, the apps can be installed and uninstalled without destroying your wallet. But a lot of people freak out when they see that there are no apps on their device. So Ledger uh, will automatically install them for you. So just click Restore Apps, and it's going to reinstall all of the apps that you had on there before. Uh, of course, you'll have to go back and allow a secure connection to do that. And we're good to go there. And then you can see progress over here in Ledger Live as it reinstalls the apps for you. And you'll see the install queue over here as well. So just be patient, let it install all the apps for you automatically. All right, and uh, it'll finish the process over here and then in your, uh, on your device, you'll see your apps. Right, and you're good to go, you're done installing the update. And then uh, you'll notice if you go into your settings now, you have a ledger recovery key area where you can manage ledger recovery keys. Now, I already have one here. So uh, I'm just going to hold it back here. Now, interestingly, I set this one up with a different device. Um, however, I do know the pin for this device, this key. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that. So uh, I'll enter the pin for the recovery key. All right, I'll hold it back here. All right, and now I can manage this. Now, uh, because I set this up on a different device, um, it's it, it's basically set up for a demo device that I did during my uh, original setup video. I'd like to reset the card and pair it up to this device. So I'll hit reset. I'll start the reset. Hold the key to the back here. And so you can manage this uh, recovery key with multiple backups. So I'm just going to hit here. I'll go back in here to the ledger recovery key option. And now when I hold this card to the back, it's basically going to detect that it's a brand new empty factory card. So I'll go ahead and do the setup. I had to enter the pin on for the actual ledger device. Pardon me. All right. Now I need to create the pin for uh, this device for the key. So I'll do that. Okay, it's going to want me to confirm that. Okay, and then uh, it's going to ask me to create the backup uh, for this device on this brand new uh, reset key. So we'll hold the key to the back. All right, so now I've backed up um, my device to this key. Uh, so uh, you can repurpose these devices. You can uh, manage, you can create as many of these backup keys as you want. 
uh, for your uh, devices. So I could create, uh, say, three backup keys for this particular device. And uh, if the device ever gets lost, stolen, or damaged, I can easily re uh, restore using this key. Or if I accidentally enter the pin incorrectly three times, I can always do a quick restore. Um, I'm just going to name this uh, Stacks Key. And then it wants me to enter the pin. And uh, just hold the card at the back to complete the naming process. All right, and there we go. So not only is the uh, ledger recovery key uh, a great and convenient way to manage backups, it's also pretty versatile. It, it can be reset and repurposed using the uh, ledger settings that manage ledger recovery key. Uh, so you could uh, rename your key, uh, change your pin, or completely reset the card in these settings. So a uh, very versatile little device. All right, so that's it. Uh, make sure you update your firmware to the latest version so that you can manage uh, ledger recovery keys. If you own a Stax or a Flex and you don't have a ledger recovery key, uh, you can get one for free using the link below where all you have to do is connect your device to the ledger website. It'll detect that you uh, have the device and will offer you the free discount. Uh, you will have to pay for shipping. So if you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.